My path um, to Major League Rugby was really simple. Um, after World Cup, um, I had a really good World Cup in Japan 2019. So um, I had a few people um, came to speak to me and because I was really young at the time, so it just made um, everything for me um, very simple and um, easy. But then COVID came, as we all know, and things got harder. And luckily I knew the right people. I um, who, um, made this opportunity for me possible. So. Yeah, I played um, after World Cup. I played rugby in England for um, a few games, and then I um, went. For me, playing in the World Cup was a major, a major experience that I will carry for the rest of my life because it was my first. And um, for a Namibian team, we did really well. And for me personally, I think I ticked a few boxes I wanted during the World Cup, and just to have that experience at such a young age for me. It's, of, it's massively important, so for me it was an amazing experience. Surely the first, um, the first game was quite overwhelming. Um, um, people cheering from all sides, of all corners of the stadium, and I was just like, you know, um, I'm not used to this. I'm used to playing in front of people, but not like this mad crowd, and where the whole world is actually watching you. It just puts so much pressure on you, but um, luckily I think I I dealt well with the pressure and yeah. We did well in the beginning, but um, to last 18 minutes against uh, um, so, um, so much uh, stronger South African team, it's, it's difficult for not just Namibia, but every other team. I think they would found it difficult because they won the World Cup and it's one of their best teams. Um, for us, it was just like um, doing our best, standing our, our ground um, um, as long as we can because we won't go into a game and think, oh, that's South Africa. They, they are like our bigger brothers and we are from the same continent, we are neighbouring countries so most of the, the guys playing there, you, you know the guy because some of our guys were in the same union as them. So yeah, it was just for us like take, it, take everything in and give your best. Namibia is a very beautiful um, small country, um, everyone almost knows everyone in Namibia, especially in the rugby community. But it's just a um, beautiful place to live in. Um, like um, the, the the living environment, everything is just nice, and you don't have crime every day and stuff like this. So it's it's a I, I would say it's a amazing place for you and for your children to grow up into. And yeah, it's just a very supportive community, very close community. So I would definitely say it's not big, but um, you can. Every small kid in the movie is playing rugby, especially if um, the community um, in town I, I come from. So from a young age, I was playing rugby. I, w I went to my father to the rugby field and all that stuff. So um, the game is growing, but not at a rapid pace. Um, but I think um, the old rugby community can do better because the movie has been playing every World Cup since 1999. And, you, you can say that there's a major like um, growth in the game from that time to now, so I would definitely say that the, the potential is there, but um, more has to be done to make the game grow much bigger than it is now. I would definitely say my parents and my agent because um, they uh, my parents were the one during COVID, it was difficult and you had to work on your own, like um, put in effort and some days you just felt like, um, why am I doing this? Um, but surely your, your artwork always um, pulls off. So for me, my parents were very supportive and they were for me, they, they were there for me since day one. And my agent as well, he made this opportunity for me um, um, realize. So I'm just grateful for them. For me, like I said, it's just an amazing opportunity for me to play for the Utah Warriors. I've um, read a lot about them on social media on the internet before I came here. So my style of play, I like to enjoy rugby. I like to um, play and, and, and I would like to play what's in front of me. Um, obviously in rugby, there's, um, there's structure and your team have their own structures. Um, I like to um, play in the structure, but also like, um, I, I, I like to like do my own thing in the structure. Like I know what I can bring to the team. So I don't want to be like, um, said do this and do that but it's important to have that guidelines in the team but to express myself in the structures is like in play of fast um, that people want to see people don't want to like um, boring or what but sometimes it is needed I know it's rugby but for me it's just to express myself on the field and um, play to my strengths um, 
that's that's my style. The rugby community, um, um, it's for me, it's it's very much important um, to every player and, and to every any organisation because they are the people coming to the games and uh, supporting you. Without them, playing rugby wouldn't be the same. But um, for me personally, I think um, it's just amazing to have um, so uh, many people involved as much as possible in the community supporting. Um, the club and the club supporting the community, giving back to the community is as much important. So yeah, the club and the community um, obviously um, complementing each other. So yeah, the community and the Raul rugby community is of very much important to myself. Um, there, there's actually not a lot people don't know about me. What you see is what you get. But um, one thing I would say that many people don't know, but not, not only about me, but about my family and my father's rugby, that. He also played in the Rugby World Cup in 1999 and we were actually, when I um, played, um, went to the World Cup for Namibia, um, we were the first father and son who played for Namibia in a Rugby World Cup. So I didn't actually know that, but um, they told me on the tour and I was just like, wow, um, um, we um, always tend to forget about uh, the little stuff and what you, what you do and achieve. Um, so that was just amazing for me. I'm Cleven Lopeser and I'm here for the nation.